this is uh, for my introduction now. So I talked about myself. I would like to know now who you are. Now, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to give you a piece of paper. Um, and if you would be so kind to write down your name on that and put it in front of you. OK, so I'm going to give you a piece of paper. I'm going to give you some markers, too. There you go. There you are. Okay, let me see if I can pronounce this right. Okay, Rama is from Ramadan, right? Okay, I know that one, Ramadan, see. Isaac, Isaac, is that right? Pronounce it right? I, yeah. Isaac, okay. Pauline, good. Paul, Paul Ogalo, good. Then we have Damaris, okay, great. Elisabetta, good. Chris, Duncan, John, is it John or John too? Uh, two is your last name. Okay, so we can say John. We say John. Nelly, Raphael, and there we have John, Crispin, and has one. Okay, if I don't pronounce it right, you just correct me, okay? Good. What I would like to do next is uh, a little exercise to start with. Find somebody you don't know, sit together, just the two of you, and have a short interview just for two minutes. I'll time two minutes. So let's pretend that Duncan doesn't know Chris. Is that true? You don't know each other? Good, we have a team already. Duncan, you are going to interview Chris for two minutes, then I'll give you a sign, and then you switch. Then Chris is going to do, gonna, um, interview Duncan. OK? And try to find out as much as possible from this other person. Is that clear? Any questions so far? No questions? Okay, find somebody you don't know and sit together. Okay? Okay, that's two minutes. Two minutes are over. So another two minutes, and now change the rules. All right, time is up. Time is up. You ready? You finished? Was that enough? Two minutes? It's short, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now what I ask you to do now is to take the name shield of the one you interviewed and write down two positive things, two positive words about this other person next to the name. And then you can give it back again. Yeah. To the, uh, the name. These two words, just so we can read the name, the words. Okay. So if you've done that, you can give back the name shield. Very good. Good listener, clear communication. Okay. 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 Good. 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 Are we done? Yes? OK, good. So let's see. Elisabetta, who did you interview? You interviewed Damaris, right? I interviewed You interviewed Damaris. OK. What can you tell us about Damaris? Wait, we wait till everybody's finished. 
you. The woman says, I'm very glad. Yes, the way I've done the work now. And uh, she says, if you want to go up with this most important community, you can go back to point one, and which comes from the community. Mm -hmm. OK. And about agriculture. How about agriculture? Yes. Good. So well, for what organization does the Morris work? It's at the moment, she's a sister in time. Encourage. Sister in time. So which two words did you write down for the Maris? Sorry? Which two words did you write down for the Maris? I think I've just written exactly what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. The Maris, do you recognize the story? Elizabeth is telling? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So you interviewed Elisabetta, right? Yeah. So what can you tell us about Elisabetta? Okay, personally what I've realized is, first of all she comes from Kasserian, she works with a small community on the greenhouses, developing greenhouses. Yes. And from a story, I've realized that she's a courageous woman and she's ready to take a risk, especially when they enter into the lives of people and try to bring them together to develop themselves. Okay. And also, she focuses to taking the knowledge back to where she comes from in Voy. Okay. Voy? You can find Voy? Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay, good. And what two words did you write down? Can you tell us? Courageous tell us? woman. Courageous. And ready to take a risk. Ready to take a risk. Okay. That's important in life, isn't it? Yes. Okay, good. We're going to come back on that one. It's a very important one. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, the guys here, Duncan and Chris. So, who's starting? Duncan? Okay, tell us about Chris. Um, Mm -hmm. And then I realized that uh, in his model of working, he is more of a, he tries to create things. He is trying to invent some things in life. You see, he is trying to get his life out of the way. He is like trying to get some things working for him. Okay, he's trying to get some things working for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like uh, he told me he is working on a fish uh, project, a uh, fish pond, which he started. He started with. Mm -hmm. of which uh, is not very popular in Kisari and they took the initiative we got other people but then some other people left and still we need mm -hmm. so that kind of as a kind of person here yeah. good yeah. great good and what two words did you write down I say it is uh, easy to approach mm -hmm. and uh, is uh, creative yeah he's innovative that innovative is. Yeah. okay good is it right this time is it? Okay, good. Good to hear. So what can you tell us about Duncan? Duncan is an encouraging person. Mm -hmm. Someone who can work with easy and creative. Mm -hmm. And is ready to work with anyone. Okay. It's a team man. Okay, that's important, right? Okay, good. Interesting stories already. I hear a lot of things which we can use during the training. <laughs> Let's go there in the back. Um, Crispin, who did you interview here? Yes. Anyway. Isaac? No, no, Mr. Paul. Paul, you're okay. Paul. Yes. Yeah. You interviewed Paul. Uh, you were looking for your own name sheet? <laughs> 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 you can turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was with Paul and uh, yes. I realized that Paul is coming from an organization uh, with abbreviations of creator. Yes. Instead of creating of something, I, I'm not able to remember the full names, but it's in Nairobi, Karibani. Yes. And uh, they're doing many things. One, they're interested in sports. They're doing also some peace work, you know, peace initiatives. And they're involved in community uh, collectively. <clears throat> but short, shortly, I realized that he's too punctual. You know, the moment you say, now you switch, immediately say, now you switch. <laughs> okay. And so to me, that was a sign of punctuality. And, time consciousness uh, that uh, the quality that he has already. And also I realized he's friendly because he was welcoming me. You know me, have you seen me before? You have a TV and it was like, <laughs> it's like a politician in this country. <laughs> then uh, finally I, I realized he's also, uh, I don't know, there's a word that is very good I wrote there but I can't remember. I wrote three things, he's time conscious, he's friendly, 
And I don't know, maybe Paul will tell me the last thing I wrote for you there. For the friend, they went, well detailed. detailed. yeah. Because in a short time, he was able to tell me everything. And okay. I was able to see the oh, great good. Good. That's good. Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, Paul. We know a lot about you now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. Good. So, Paul, what you can, can you tell us about Christine? I, what, what I found, I found very attractive in him is being articulate. He was very articulate about what he's doing. And he was short and very precise. Okay. He didn't use so many words, you know, at the bank and all that. So he was able to tell me exactly this and that we're doing. Yeah, and then I, I saw that he has a lot of potential. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So these are the two things you wrote down? Yeah, I wrote uh, uh, potential. Yes. The potential, and that is articulate. Okay. Yeah, you can articulate the concept and present it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Let's turn to Pauline. Pauline, who did you interview? Hello, uh, was very good at explaining what he does. I actually admire him for what he does. He works with the youth, being a youth, youth in the slum. He comes from an organization by the name of ACREF. Mm -hmm. uh, I got, I think I got, it comes from the day you in an area called Papandoko. Sorry. And uh, Ramadan is very strong on accountability, most especially when it comes to leaders, mm -hmm. and he also holds him himself accountable to that, oh. from what he was explaining. And uh, he also is very creative, loves art, and uh, is involved with an artistic group that uh, does that. Okay, good. And the two words, youth, mentor? An yeah. alphabet for accountability. Okay, good. So you take your own responsibility. You say, you say I'm accountable. Yeah. That's good. Good attitude. I like that. Yeah. What can you tell us about Pauline? Uh, Pauline, um, first of all, um, I'm happy that we are finally meet because uh, my organization and our organization has been working together, you know, uh -huh. without okay. knowing who is behind or, or or uh, the activity that has been having in an organization called Bidiko Mendeleo. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been partners for so long, and uh, what I've got from her is that, uh, first I would say that we need women like her in, in our communities, you know, because she's also uh, creative, you know, and I've found out that she's, uh, she's a founder of two big things that are still running, mm -hmm. like one is Bidiko Mendeleo and another one is Community. Yeah, you've been writing them down. Yeah, their name is Daughters of Zion. Yeah, okay. yeah Daughters of Zion. And uh, she's a person who likes to learn. She's doing a lot of master's degrees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good yeah. Yeah, 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 wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful, thank you both. So Isaac, who did you interview? Hasbun, over there, yes. Okay, tell me about Hasbun. Hasbun is a, it's a humble man. So I like him because of that. What I found in him is that he's a man who has a vision, especially for the young It's a man with a vision. It's important too. Huh? What can you tell us about Isaac? Isaac, I didn't, I didn't know him before. But I think uh, having met him right now, I realize he's very friendly. Mm -hmm. at, at first I thought he was harassing me, you know, what's the name, what do you do, you know, but uh, there's a way of opening me up because I just came in and still trying to adjust to the environment. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> the other thing I realized with him because he's, he, he initiated a project in town, garbage collection, I think he's a guy who has a mission, a mission for clean cities or something. So that those are the two things I learned about him. He just, we the same similar things about each other. Okay, yes, I can hear. Both have a vision, it's, yeah. but it's okay. Yeah. Good, okay. So let's go this side. Rafael, who did you interview? Nelly? Yeah, Nelly. Okay. Tell us about Nelly. This is called Nelly Karega. This is a 
social worker by profession. Mm -hmm. What I found in her is very optimistic. She, she, she sees that the, the, the children have the future. She's very sure that whatever they have trained the young kids, mm -hmm. there will be some, there will be very influential people in the future. They will handle themselves. Mm -hmm. And the second one is that she's a caregiver. Sorry? She's a caregiver. She a giver? Gives, yes, she gives a, because she handles these people, young people who are very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She takes care of them, so she's a caregiver. She's very concerned. Okay. That's the matter that she Okay, good, good, good. So you're a positive woman, Nelly. That's good. It's nice to hear. Wonderful. Okay. Nelly, what can you tell us about Rafael? Okay, he's called Rafael Kimara. First of all, he's a father. And he's pursuing a master's at Takaza College. He's involved in a project called Mokade, which trains people on how to change farming methods from the old ones to the modern ones. The two things I wrote about him is that he's a good listener. I noticed he really listens well, and he's able to communicate clearly. Okay, yeah. good. So then, it's John and John, which is left, right? So John, tell us about John. <laughs> John is a business person and a farmer. He's been a bit of farming, and he's also involved in selling, buying and selling crops. That's a business he's doing. And uh, the other thing I noted with him is that he's ready to share. So John is the other John? John Paul is a team player? Yes. You would say that? Yeah. Okay, good. Which two words did you write down about John? Uh, I swam is that he's welcoming and uh, he's ready to share okay. about his life. Thank you, John. John, what can you tell about John Tuo? He's one person who is willing not only to learn and uh, put it inside, he's ready to, to also educate other people because uh, he's talked about some projects that are doing in Kalibangi of uh, uh, mentoring young people who are, who are getting into business, mm -hmm. and, uh, teaching them business skills, yes. and also uh, working with them to see their businesses grow. So okay. uh, that was very impressive because uh, I believe some people will get skills and then they sit on them and they want other people to. So I was very impressed with him, and uh, I believe he's also one guy who is planning to give the little that he has uh, to other people, to expand other people, to uh, give them ideas, mm -hmm. and, uh, and give them skills as well. Okay. So I think he's also uh, somebody who is ready to, he's a, he's a team player, that's what I call Okay, uh, good. I call him, he's a team player. Yeah, yeah. that's important. We did this as an introduction to interview each other and learn more about each other, right? So what do you think about this method? Why do we do it this way? We're gonna discuss, you know, when we do something, we also, also go to evaluate why are we doing this the way we do it? Because if you are going to do it with your students or with the group of people you work with, you have to know the idea behind it, okay? So what do you think of this way of interviewing, of this way of introducing each other? Who can tell us something about it? No, come on. Well, how was that? I mean, you're sitting there and somebody else is talking about you. It's telling about you. How was that? Ramadan, what would you say? It was uh, an opportunity to know what, what all of them are doing, you know, because mm -hmm. I, only, I know a few people are doing stuff, but I didn't know others who are doing good things out there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's a good exercise. Yeah, okay. You think it works? When you work with your target group? Yes? Okay. The usual introduction is like, okay, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, let's start here, and then boom, 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 you know? So what happens is that the one who is doing the introduction the first actually makes a framework for the rest of the group. That's what normally happens. If somebody, the number one, tells, my name is, mm, I'm this age, I come from there and there, and this is what I do. The second person is going to tell, my name is, my age is, I come from there, and this is what I do. So you get 15 times the same story. And this way you get completely different stories. Because A, somebody else is telling something about you. And the other, on, on the other hand, it's also like, if somebody else is talking about me, it's like, hmm, 
So this is how people look at me. This is what people think of me. This is you know, how they see me. That's interesting. And then, something very important too, for you yourself as a trainer, you get a lot of information of these people. Besides that, you have a name shield, and there's all kinds of things written down on there, which you can use during the training program. Right? If I hear somebody's creative or a team player or whatever, I can always use that information. If we're going to do something in a team, I can say, okay, John and John, you're team players, right? Come on, come over here. We're gonna do this exercise. Can you mobilize the whole group? I can make, I can take advantage of their strong capacities or their, the things they really do well, okay? So you can use that. It's a, it's a gift, it's a present you get actually, all right? Are there any questions about this? Questioning, asking questions, is one of the best ways to learn. Do we know that? They did some brain research, and it turns out that at the moment somebody is asking some things, or you ask things to somebody, all kind of parts in our brains get activated, which we need if we want to learn something. So in the moment I ask somebody a question, he's looking for an answer. So what is he going to do? He's gonna look in all those files up here. Where's the answer, where's the answer, where's the answer? Until he finds the answer. Maybe it's not the right answer, and it's not the answer I'm looking for. But I can always say, okay, it's a nice answer. It's not really what I'm looking for, but it's a very interesting point you make. And we're gonna come back on that one. You know? So this is the way you can communicate with people. All right? Okay, so then we can switch to the next subject. All right? Okay.